Okay, 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 enough of that. Hey, all you great theater kids out there, it's Ms. Edmiston, and I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking, oh, there's nothing I can do with theater at home. Eh. You're wrong, guys. I'm here to get started today with the actor's voice and body and some things that you can be doing right at home to be focusing on those theater skills that are gonna take you to the next level, and these are all fun. The best part of this is really there's nobody watching. You can try all this stuff at home in the privacy of your mirror and be practicing these skills all the days that we're home. So let's get started. Now you may be thinking, gosh, the only way I can do a performance or be a character is with a bunch of costuming stuff. I could have that. But the truth is guys, if you're doing your job as an actor, you've got all the tools right here. You've got your body and you've got your voice and that's what's gonna create the best characters for you. Again, an actor's body and voice is what really creates a character. So that's what we're gonna focus on today. Let's get started with that. I've got on solid black, guys, for a reason. It's a clean slate for me to create anybody that my imagination will create. How's my body feeling? How's your body feeling? Right now, as a performer, I'm going to try to really get in tune with my body. I'm 50 years old, guys. I'm not in great shape. But I am aware, when I'm standing still, my posture's strong. How's that happening? My feet are shoulder width apart. My abdominals are pulled just a hair tight. My buttocks are in just a little bit. I know that's funny. My arms are extended straight and my shoulders are back just a little bit. Hopefully, I look very nice and firm to you, like I'm controlling my body. I want you to try practice at home right now. Just get in front of the mirror and practice talking with your arms extended straight to your sides like I'm doing now. Notice I'm not moving my hands or arms in any way, and I'm trying to just be relaxed and natural and in full control, again, my feet about shoulder width apart, abs pulled in, buttocks pulled in just a hair, arms relaxed and natural, and I'm just going to talk to my audience. In fact, I'm home alone right now, but it looks as though I'm talking to a lot of people. And again, I'm trying to do this in a way that is natural and relaxed. Most people want to, of course, pull their hands like this, or of course, behind the back. Uh, sometimes we see teachers teaching class with the arms folded like this. It's very difficult to just, again, stand controlled, relaxed, and firm. I want you to get in front of your mirror now and try this exercise. Again, not moving, not grabbing. Be very aware of what you are doing with your body. Give it a try. We'll be right back. 